Oh dear, the gloves seem strangely appropriate to this video. This is a mood light um, and it says heart and it's got that strange quotation -y type marks with LED and I'm not really surprised. It's basically, it's saying, surprise your girlfriend with a huge illuminated set of testicles. So this uh, is labelled, where, where's the label on it? It's the bottom of this and it says, out of the blue. Yes, I think this did come out of the blue. It also came from a pound shop on Silky Hall Street in Glasgow. It's not the pound land, but one of the other sort of general purpose pound shops. The one with the lovely elderly lady in it. Anybody who goes into the pound shops in Silky Hall Street will know exactly who I'm talking about. So uh, this has two intensity settings. This set, It's got low level balls and it's got high level balls. Mmm, my balls are shining bright tonight. Inside, because this just the sack really just rips off. It's a little circuit board held in by screws. It's quite neat. And it's got three wires coming up to it and two resistors. And I think the reason for the two resistors is just the intensity settings because when you click the button once, it powers via one resistor. Second time, it powers maybe by both. And then off, I'm guessing. I think we can investigate further though. The fact this has got screws in it kind of suggests that under this little battery compartment, uh, well, probably under these feet, there may be more screws. So I'm going to investigate that right now. I'll be back in a moment. And there were indeed four screws under the feet. Quite nice. Good assembly. The insert here, incidentally, can come out. It's basically held in by a sort of locking ring that this is pressed into and clicked if you want to take it out for any reason whatsoever. I can't really think of a reason. So the circuitry is different to what I was expecting. When you press the button once, it lights at low level, which is about 122 milliamps. When you press it again, it goes up to 480 yeah, 480 milliamps. It's, it's rapidly dropping because that's quite a lot of current to be drawing from AAA cells. and They're not going to get a very long runtime. The circuitry in the top is two resistors, a 1 ohm resistor and a 10 ohm resistor. And when you click the button, it alternates between these two contacts. So off that contact or that contact, and that brings up the different intensity levels. I will say that that is a bit ferocious for... Um, the triple A's though, so not a good idea to run it at its highest intensity. You could use rechargeable cells though, that would drop the current and of course give the option of recharging them. So it's nicely made for what it is. You could use it as a little fetching pink up lighter, I suppose, and if you're endowed with very small Tesco's, you could simply slot these on over existing ones and it'd make you look like you had huge nads. Um, other than that, the construction for such a weird device is actually quite nice, but I don't see myself using it in the near future. It's a bit weird.